Hey, hi, welcome back to Digit.in. My name is Vignesh and I'm here in the house of Okinawa Scooters where I'm looking at four models they have, all four are electric scooters and out of them two have lead acid batteries and two have lithium ion batteries. So their models are Ridge, the Ridge Plus, they have a Praise and the iPraise. Now two of them are smart scooters. So let's learn a bit more about them from the company's MD. Hello sir. Hi. Could you tell me, uh, could you tell us all, you know, a little about Okinawa Scooters, how the company was founded, how you brought these many uh, electric scooters in the market? Okay. So, well, we founded this company in May 2015. Mm -hmm. So, this was the incorporation of the company and we have our head office in Gurgaon only. Mm -hmm. So, when we starting from inception, we were always thinking about the pollution-free India. Mm -hmm. So, that is our main core idea behind this company. And that's why if you see, the name of the company is Okinawa. So everybody always think about why it is Okinawa. Right, because it's a, it's a, it sounds like a Japanese yeah. city name, but... Yeah, but actually Japanese. this is Indian, purely Indian company. And Okinawa is the island in Japan. And where the people, the best part of that island is the... Every life of the people is more than 100 years because of their environment. And because they love their environment, they love their country. And they also understand how the green technology is better for the for their uh, for their, their present as well as for the future generation nice. and the same way we thought if in the other country the people thought about this why not in india so that's why we bought that name as a okinawa and because our product is also a green technology so that we want to give the message to the consumer of india we can also make the india is a pollution free country and that's why we make the company name as a okinawa and then we bring this company and we make this uh, product is electric vehicles and basically our product is a high speed electric two wheeler i see mm. and i understand you have a range of four models at the moment you have ridge ridge plus praise and i praise is that correct yeah you're right and could you tell us a bit more about these models and actually we launched our first product in january 2017 mm -hmm. and that we uh, come with the ridge model that is a basically high speed electric two wheeler mm -hmm. and that is the lead acid battery okay. because that time we were working on the development of the lithium ion version also so and we also understand because india is a cost sensitive market we want to understand how what is the response of the consumer of india about the electric two wheelers because earlier people always thought about the electric two wheelers as small scooters it cannot have a good speed long range that was the myth in the mind of the consumer of india so we want to break that myth so that the people will understand the electric vehicle is also as good as the petrol vehicles. So that's why at that time we come with the lead acid version of Ridge. But by the time we come here in 2019, we already have a range of four scooters. Out of these two are the lithium ion. One is the Ridge, the Ridge advanced model called is that Ridge Plus. Second, our model is the Praise. That was also a new model that we launched in, in the month of December 2017, but that was also with the lead acid. Primarily then we launch our iPraise that we call as the intelligent scooter and that is with the lithium ion vehicles. So we have the four range of the high speed vehicles which is already selling in the Indian market. Okay. And could we talk about the range sir? I mean, yeah. as a consumer, how much, if I have, if I have a fully charged Okinawa scooter, yeah. how far can I go with one? If you talk about the Rich Plus, like you can go up to the 90 kilometer in a single charge and when we talk about the i praise you can go up to the 160 kilometer very easily because actually that is the way how we can uh, bring the consumer to the electric vehicles mm -hmm. rather they go for the petrol vehicles because they have the good speed they have the long range okay uh, next can we talk about the charging also how does charging work now if i had a okinawa scooter at home yeah. how would i charge these batteries in our scooters we have the onboard charging as well as you can detachable battery. Mm -hmm. In these models, we have the lithium ion detachable battery. You can take out the battery and you, if you are living in the apartment, you can take out the battery and you can charge at your own convenience, just like you are charging your mobile phone. So that is the best part of the USB of the Okinawa, which we are giving to the consumer. Because every consumer, whenever the people talk about, they always talk about the charging infrastructures. But for the domestic consumer, it is very difficult to just wait for one hour, two hours on the road to charge their scooters. So that's why we have given the both the option on board as well as the, on the directly charging the lithium ion battery by taking out the battery from the scooters and they can charge at their home, at their office, anywhere, at their convenience, just like mobile charging. Okay. So if I understand correctly, the lead acid batteries can't be removed, but the lithium ion yeah. batteries can be removed from the scooter. Is that correct? Yes, you're right. 
Okay. And how long does charging take generally? If you talk about the lithium ion, the 40, uh, in the 45 minutes, it will charge around 80% of the battery. From and zero? Yeah, from zero. And the remaining will be charged in two hours, two to three hours. Okay. And uh, that's the same time it takes across all models? or is it Yeah, for the lithium ion, it is like this. But when you go about the lattice, it takes four to six hours. But in the uh, for the lattice set, and for the uh, for we have the other option also for the fast charging. For the lead asset, they also charge two to three hours also. But that is an optional charger, which we give de depending upon the demand of the consumer. Okay. So could we talk about the scooters also? How are they as scooters independently? Yeah. Are they you know they are, they have plastic bodies which are fairly I think the same as uh, you know the models and the most models you see in the market today. Yeah. And uh, is there anything else you could tell us? I see this one here has a disc brake. Yeah, actually, if you so, this is our uh, I uh, I praise that we call it as an intelligent scooter. If you see in this scooter, we have the different USB. You will not find even in the petrol vehicles. Like if you see that the size of the scooter is a complete size of a complete scooter. Mm -hmm. Even two people, and it's a you call it as a family scooter. They can two or with the child they can ride on the scooter very easily, based on the size of the scooter. Second thing, if you see the appearance of the scooter. It's also we have given the shape like this, the people will like that scooters. And if you see like this is the LED lamps mm -hmm. and which we have the DRL also. This is the DRL, mm -hmm. day running light. That is the requirement of this, uh, you can say, uh, regulation. And of course, we have the big size of the 12 inches wheel, the alloy wheels and with the disc also. That is a big disc also. So uh, the purpose of this disc is that they have the good grip on the roads and they have the good braking efficiency also. Mm -hmm. So in this scooter we have the front as well the rear also we have the disc brake so that the braking efficiency is more in that way. So that's why in terms of the safety it will be the good safety if you see the levers this is a CNC machine it's not the normal lever what you find the motorcycle and scooters are the, the petrol also. So this is a CNC machine levers with the steels and they have the other things like we have the regenerative braking also if you talk about the technology mm -hmm. like once you run the scooters and when you apply the brakes right. it will recharge the battery itself so this type of uh, this uh, USB we already given in this technology and uh, apart from this if you see they have a big seat we have the rear grip and the size of the boot size is also good okay. like this okay and just how much of the battery charge can be regained from uh, braking like it depends upon like uh, in this we have this once you apply the brake the 7 to 9 percent of that time it will re regenerate the this okay. braking also. I see. Okay. And what would you say is the advantage here, you know, with Okinawa? Because I think in the past we have seen Hero Cycles come up with uh, electric scooters. TVS has had their own, you know, I think they've had their own attempts at making electric scooters. So, yeah. what would you say is that Okinawa essence in, in these scooters? Actually, the main important thing for the Okinawa scooter is the performance you can say QCD quality cost and the delivery mm -hmm. in terms of the cost how we are giving the product in terms of the quality and the performance because when you want to change the consumer from the petrol scooters or the motorcycle to the electric vehicles they only go for it if they are getting some benefit from that mm -hmm. benefit in terms of the performance in terms of the quality and of course in terms of the cost running cost so we have the advantage over that in terms of the cost also when you run a petrol scooter or the motorcycle, how much is the running cost? If you see in the petrol, it's coming around 1 rupees 70 paisa to 1 rupees 80 paisa. But if you run this scooter, it will the cost is around 10 paisa per kilometer to 20 paisa per kilometer. That is a big advantage the consumer is getting from this scooter. Apart from this, as you said about the other earlier, people have tried for this. But when we make our scooter, we have a mind in our mind while making the scooter. What is the requirement of the end consumer? That is very important for any company. So we do the market research, how the consumer need for an hour, what they need for their for the riding. It depends upon the how is the riding comfort, how is the running cost, how is the size, and the most important thing is speed and the performance, like in the single charge, how much it can go. Because earlier, always the people thought, once they come out from their house, whether they'll come back or not, that is the myth they have. So we want to break that myth. The range which we are giving, I think, is more than sufficient for any consumer to ride in a day. Like you cannot ride more than 60, 70, 80 kilometers in a day. So our even the lower range, the Rich Plus is covering that also. And of course, in the high place, you can go up to the 150, 160 kilometer very easily. So that is the way that we can make the consumer have faith on the Okinawa brand and the scooters. 
so they are very happy to buy this and they can save the running cost as well as the the myth which they have the earlier in their mind so how long can we expect an okinawa scooter to last i mean say the battery the motor now i understand there's a one year warranty on the battery and a two year warranty on the motor is that correct yeah no but actually what you are saying that is on the latest said one year warranty but if you talk about the battery we are giving two years to 2.5 years the battery on the replacement this warranty on the lithium ion batteries i see because you understand the life the cost is more so we have to serve the consumer in that way only and we know our battery is so good it won't have any problem in the next 4 to 5 years okay and what about the lead acid batteries uh, lead acid we are giving the replacement warranty of 1 year 1 year is yeah. it yeah and what about the motor motor is also is like this 1 1 uh, uh, 2 years is the warranty 2 years is yeah it? okay Okay then we've seen that Okinawa scooters has shown us four scooters in just a span of 2 years but let's see what else they can come up with in the coming years thanks very much for watching see you in the next video bye for the latest technology updates subscribe to digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon